Time for the news review of this bulletin. Australia's Prime Minister Scott Morrison says alleged war crimes by Australian troops in Afghanistan will be dealt with under the country's justice system. We need to ensure that the seriousness of the contents of this report are dealt with under the Australian justice system by Australians in accordance with our laws. And that's why we are moving quickly to set up the Office of the Special Investigator. Morrison called the findings of a recent report that Australian Special Forces had killed 39 unarmed Afghan prisoners and civilians terribly disturbing. Morrison said that he had spoken to Afghan President Ashraf Ghani to ensure him that the report will be taken seriously. The inquiry has recommended prosecution for 19 current and former Australian soldiers for suspected war crimes between 2005 and 2016. Afghan human rights groups have expressed anger over the report. They have urged the Afghan government to conduct its own investigation. Tim Anderson is the director of the Center for Counter-Hegemonic Studies, who joins us from Sydney. So you have this uh, report. First of all, uh, why do you think it would take this long for these war crimes that Australia says have been committed to surface now? Or w were they known and they decided to release it now? They've come out mainly because there is one particular whistleblower in the army, an army officer who was a lawyer called David McBride, who leaked a number of these documents to um, the media. And he himself is now facing criminal charges. Um, but that catalyzed um, the investigation which has identified these 39 killings of civilians. Uh, when it comes to war crimes, uh, it's not just Australia. We know that the American forces and other perhaps international coalition troops have committed these types of crimes in, Aus in um, Afghanistan. Uh, uh, though cases are different and countries, the soldiers are different, why are they being committed? Why are war crimes being uh, committed, some um, the, the horrific crimes, uh, this one, uh, this case in point, uh, looking at uh, more than a dozen Afghans uh, to have been killed? Well, you know, in international law, they call wars of aggression the mothers of all war crimes. That is to say, you don't have these crimes against humanity, the genocides, the war crimes, unless you have a, a crime of aggression, a war of aggression. And so the invasion of Afghanistan, which had no basis in international law, the invasions of Iraq, the invasion of Syria, the invasions of Lebanon, um, the war against Yemen, the ethnic cleansing in Palestine, these things are essentially wars of aggression which proliferate a whole series of subsidiary crimes. And I'm afraid when it comes to the the 39 murders of civilians in Afghanistan, which have been identified, this is really only the tip of the iceberg of just the Australian participation in these things. Because we know that in Iraq also, the Austra there was heavily, heavy Australian involvement, for example, in the invasions of uh, and the assault on the city of Fallujah, the, the, the twin attacks on the city of Fallujah in Iraq in 2004. We know the Australian Air Force was there with the US Air Force in the attack on Syrian soldiers in Deir ez Zur in 2016. So really, I think we have to see these latest revelations as just the tip of an iceberg, which has been exposed by a, a quite a courageous whistleblower in the Australian system. And finally, you have the Australian Prime Minister who said that these uh, war crimes that have been com committed will be dealt with under the country's justice system. Um, so, I mean, what Australia is going to uh, undergo this uh, uh, mm, justice process within its country instead of it, for example, being referred to the ICC? What does that say about the way that justice may or may not be served? Yes, well, I think it says that the Australian government is going to try and take control and get into damage limitation on this issue. But the, the moves that you reported on in Afghanistan, I think are quite appropriate. These sort of crimes should be dealt with by the Afghan system. The Afghan system at some stage has to assert itself and uh, carry out its own form of justice. I don't really trust that the Australian government, although it's uh, acknowledged through this report the horrific nature of these murders, um, it's going to do its very best to try and minimise the damage and try and to cover up. Already, we, there's been serious redactions in this report, for example. We don't know the details of some of the worst aspects of these crimes, and I suspect they'll try and do a secret type of tribunal here.
Thank you for that. Tim Anderson, Director of the Center for Counter-Hegemonic Studies from Sydney. Many thanks. And that does it for the news review. Thanks for tuning in.